We are celebrating Cicely Tyson, the trailblazing actress who graced the stage and screens with roles that became iconic. She's being remembered by two former presidents and has received tributes from around the world. ABC's Chris Conley has more on her illustrious career. Cicely Tyson utilized her exceptional abilities to enlighten audiences, to inspire pride, and to advocate for understanding and fundamental change. There were so many issues that I felt that I had to address, and I used my career as my platform. She'd been acting for two decades when at age 47, in the 1972 sharecropper family drama Sounder, Tyson would see her film career take flight. She'd be hailed for her fire and indomitability. Nathan! Nominated for a Best Actress Oscar, and her character sprint across a field to embrace her husband and become a defining image of 70s cinema. Two years later, the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman was a tour de force, the TV movie featuring Tyson as she depicted a woman born into slavery and living into the civil rights era. By 1977, when she played Kunta Kinta's mother in the television epic Roots, Tyson had already done work of monumental significance. Yet unlike white actors, she would not get nearly as many opportunities to showcase her artistry and insight. And as she told Robin Roberts in 2008, she turned down parts that she felt adhered to negative stereotypes. I felt very strongly that had I accepted any of those roles, I couldn't live with myself. From the 90s into the 21st century, Cicely Tyson would at last begin to receive the kind of acclaim which she had deserved for so long. She'd appear in 91's Fried Green Tomatoes. The secrets in the sauce. 2011's The Help. She'd star with Viola Davis in How to Get Away with Murder. Anyway, I'm happy because I make myself happy, and I make myself happy by loving him. Her creative collaboration with filmmaker-actor Tyler Perry would begin with Diary of a Mad Black Woman in 2005 and end with 2020's A Fall from Grace. She'd received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, an honorary Oscar, and induction into the Television Hall of Fame. And in 2013, she'd win a Tony for her performance in The Trip to Bountiful. I'm the sole surviving member of my immediate family. And I've asked over and over again, why? I now know why. Overnight, an outpouring of tributes from Oprah Winfrey, her life so fully lived is a testimony to greatness, to Tyler Perry, always so regal, always so classy, always a lady, always a queen, and President Obama. Sicily had a heart unlike any other. Born in Harlem, a model in her earlier days, she'd tell Robin Roberts that her parents hadn't wanted her to be a performer at first. And there is my mother standing at the door accepting congratulatory remarks. Yes, I always knew she was going to, you know, ever since she was a little girl, you know, she liked to sing and dance and perform. I knew and I couldn't believe. Two days after the publication of her memoir, Just As I Am, Cicely Tyson died Thursday at the age of 96.